Right, so I'd like to present to you this is Hyde Night from the North London for the North London magazine. <coughs> Get with me later. Um, the purpose of my magazine is to educate, entertain, and engage my audience. These three factors are all put into consideration when attempting to highlight reasons to purchase this specific magazine. The main purpose is to provide an enjoyable read to my primary audience where they can distract themselves from any potential troubles that they may have experienced within the week. <coughs> interviews and Q&A. There are going to be interviews and questions and answers that are all taking place regularly so I can interact with my customers. <coughs> Special deals. There will be a standard price of £4.99 fortnightly. However, if you do choose to purchase both digital and standard copy, you can buy one, get one half price. The online side of the magazine. They will consist of an interactive ranking system that highlights the best songs and hit tracks of that specific week. That is again my unique selling point. This factor is done solely by the customers and there are also special and exclusive content that can be accessed through the online website. The target audience. The target audience will consist of 15 to 21 male. Primary audience are rap lovers, young males and that's due to the popularity of the sector. Secondary audience will consist of any male or female siblings that may be interested in the genre. My tertiary audience will also consist of anyone that may be interested or intrigued to learning anything towards the genre of rap. It's again targeted to the middle class and I expect these groups to be heavily focused as I believe that these are the categories of people that will be visiting clubs, parties, etc. and more likely to listen to the rap genre. The form. What will the physical copy be like? It will contain approximately 100 to 150 pages every fortnight, including glossy and matte quality paper, and that's due to the competitor's XXL, because I want it to be quite an easy transformation over from the XXL to us, essentially. Posters will be included, promotions of other artists, valid information regarding the genre, and images and content which will be provided inside. The genre of the product. Yes, the genre yes, is yes. rap, the culture, and this is because of the huge demand in London, appealing to a large audience, and there are many people that would be interested in potentially purchasing a magazine. The content. There'll be news surrounding the industry, so that could be latest facts, exclusive information surrounding fans and artists, mainstream artists' latest songs or release dates, upcoming artists who are not already known in order for self-promotion or trying to get themselves out from the genre and trying to express themselves as an upcoming artist, Competition, which can result in huge prizes, prizes, again a USP. Images and text provided inside. Double page spread and digital mock-ups, which I'll show you later on. And interactive customer rankings for songs, which is again, as I mentioned before, another unique selling point. The price. The hard copy will be £4 every fortnight, as I said. Digital copy £2.50 every fortnight. And there are other subscriptions that will provide exclusive content and gifts. This is affordable to my primary, secondary, and tertiary audience, which is why this rap magazine is so accessible. Call it all transformation. Transition. Resources and personnel. I'll need editors, photographers, web designers, researchers, and camera crew and publishers, phones and any form of communication, Photoshop, camera, digital software, and computers. The distribution of my product. The distribution of the magazine shall consist of running through news agents, shopping malls, magazine stands, online website, which will be on the link on the front cover, petrol station and delivery to your house because who doesn't like it being convenient? The fonts. The variety of fonts are used in my digital mock-up and show the types of fonts that will be used in my magazine. The aim when using these specific fonts are, allow, are to allow an easy read, appropriate for the genre and appropriate for the specific artist. I've taken these out of my um, digital mock-ups, just to try and give a bit of a demonstration of what kind of fonts will be used. The colour scheme. The colour scheme will consist of black, gold, red and blue to enforce the diversity in the rap industry and represent possibly passion, violence, which may be able to connect to my audience. This is in order to gain attention from all audiences and create an appealing view of the magazine. The marketing method. The different, different marketing methods consist of the word of mouth, print media, advertisement through well-known or specific applications on mobile phones or tablets. So for example, if you're playing a game on your phone or listening to music on Spotify, you can get one of those annoying ads come up and it could be a bit of a self-promotion for my magazine. There'll be social media pages and I wanted to make this completely effective. So to do that, I've taken out research, 
to make sure it is effective essentially and research has been carried out to ensure that this is appropriate when regarding my target audience. The variety of different marketing methods are also affordable when regarding our budget and hopefully, should it's successful, should maximise brand awareness. This is my mood board to try and get, I don't know if you can see that, try and get as many bits of, a bit of like a mind map of throwing all of my initial ideas and showing off what it basically means to be looking at the rap industry. So I've got previous upcoming artists all put on there. Here's my front cover. Not everything is to scale for social media purposes, but it is an attempt at just showing what will be included there. My double page spread. Again, that's the unique selling point, the top rankings, which hopefully will be, which you'll see on the digital mock-up, which is basically just a, a way that we can interact with customers. And yeah, that's a big wrapper on the side. There's my digital mock-up front cover. It does look a bit squished the way I put it in, but I think that you might have been sent that, so you get a better view. That's my uh, digital mock-up front cover. And finally, the digital mock-up double page spread, which is, again, the unique selling point, the interactive thing that I really like, and um, I've got a bit of diversity and colourway there. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Brilliant, thank you. If I can go, I can go back to anywhere. You Need if, if need be. Yeah, it's good. Listen, I love the colour. I love the colour. I was saying, just we, I was hoping you weren't listening before you came in. I said, I really like the colour on this. I think it works really well. Um, your layout's good. Um, the font works. Um, you, you've even got a starburst. I think on that cover, you just, as you said, you, you've realigned those social media icons in the top corner, which is great. Um, that works. And, and you've got a starburst. You know, everyone loves Starburst giving free stuff away, so that yeah. really works. I, I, I don't know whether I'll push the digital on the front cover. Mm. I might I might just only keep the promise of the print on the front cover and allude to the digital inside. Because if you've got sort of, you know, people are making a decision just on looking at it, they might go, oh, digital, I won't pick print up. So yeah. it's a little bit cheap. I mean, that's probably worth thinking about. Um, what else have I got down here? Um, going through, let's just go through that. I love your interactive ranking as well, by the way. I thought that was a really good idea to engage people in. Um, get onto the slide I'm trying to find. There we go. Start the audience, that's it. Um, there, I think you don't lose sight of the fact that there is a up and coming female demographic to hit as well. I think you're absolutely right. The majority of your demographic is male. But there is some really powerful rap packs coming. There are some really powerful rap packs coming to hit female. Maybe at some point you, you could do that as a piece of content and focus on, on, on that coming through. Um, the demographic middle class, I, I would not restrict your demographic there because the majority of the artists in this particular genre, certainly in, in, in the main um, area, that they're, they're working class people. Yeah. So if you've got a magazine that's featuring them and worth looking at, they'll pay the money for it. Mm. So I get the idea of targeting around price and people paying, but don't discount that because um, I think they would be every single bit as interested as well. Um, what's the other thing I wrote? down on that. Fortnightly, that's good and I like and it's optimistic um, but it's a lot of content and if you've got 100 and 150 pages to write every two weeks you are Superman. Mm. Um, so I would consider that about what you're going to have in content. Almost break it down. Um, mm. Bear in mind on print you've got to work on four page um, derivatives because they fold into four pages and fold and sit in each other when they're bound. So think about the fact that, okay, I'm going to have, I don't know, four pages of intro, then I'm going to have an eight-page advert, then I've got X amount of my interactive. Try and work out what you think your content will be. It doesn't have to be as big as the others. As long as your content is good, it will sell. And I'd much rather read 64 pages of really solid content than, than something that's stretched out and hung out over, over to 150. Now, your advertising obviously will take up a large watch of that, and if you can get 100 pages of advertising, then you'll buy me a drink down the pub because you will be a rich man. Um, but, um, but have a little think around what you, you, that might well be 
um, given what you're looking to do in terms of regularity of, of, of publishing. Um, I think your price is about right, and I think your online's really interesting as well. Um, I, I, yeah, just be confident in that pagination setting as well. Um, what else have I put on there? I put the fact that I like your colour scheme really well. I like your, as I said, I love those fonts. Uh, yes, I have got copies of the two bits and pieces, and I like your text layout as well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, not a at the moment, but looking at that, that image is really strong. Yeah. Um, to have some copy around it, big images in at the moment as well. So, well done on that. I, I, I really like that idea of the the interactive thing. That's good. Uh, and, and doing the what, what you know what's, what people are favouring at the moment. Um, and overall, it just it just sits really nicely in that market. Um, what's, what's the other thing I was going to say? Oh yes, your research. Absolutely. First person who's mentioned, I'm going to do some research on who I'm hitting. Mm. And that's really important. That you, that's where you will find some of the facts around my thoughts about whether your target audience may be somewhere else. Um, in turn, oh, you also you also put publisher on your um, on your requirements, which is bang on the money. It's, it, you, you've got everything there to create the content, but how do I push that content to channel? Yeah. How do I get it to print? How do I get it online? So things like an advertising exec, unless you're going to fill the advertising yourself, publisher production. That's really really strong. Um, as well. I just think it was a really well put together piece of work. I really appreciate um, it. Thank you. The, the thing, there was one thing that made me go, hmm, uh, which was about the fact that um, I love the word passion, mm. but violence as well. Mm. With, because it, that's what it's about. It's sex, yeah. it's sex and fighting. It's sex and killing people, right? They're mm. the lyrics in, in, in real terms. Um, is that something that you want to push or is it something that I've misread? Um, in the pitch? I, I, I'd say that when when I was looking at um, XXL and I was looking at a lot yeah. of their cover lines, I was seeing a lot of things. Um, for example, I actually saw another magazine with I think it was Liam Gallagher, and he said he came home with a handgun or something like that. And yeah. I think that there's a there needs to be a balance where you um, okay. where where you not promoting violence, of course, but you want to be able to connect to the people that are committing these acts because that is what's happening on the streets it's it's in yeah. modern day and that as much as it's a sad thing and not great and it's not positive it happens and that's what happens in the world and i think that there does need to be a balance of promotion of violence but connecting to your audience in the yeah. sense of violence and that's what i was trying to more push the people Oh, people see stuff like I came home and then I turned my life around, but the old stories such as that. Yeah. And um, I think that that's more what I was going for rather than a promotion of violence. That's cool. That's cool. As I said, it's just just one thing. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. I just I think it's a really interesting point. You're absolutely right. It's authentic. It is people's lives. Like it or lump it, especially in North London. Yeah. It's the way things are, and especially for this market. Um, I just wonder if there's something in there. You know, again, maybe just some content. You could do a piece on, on, I don't know, a youth worker who's working with the back end of it. Yeah. Or, you know, not not that that's a, as you said, not that's a come on, let's turn your life around. But actually, it is a is a real pragmatic understanding. And I think that's what I'm trying to get to with it. Is that sense that look, I I get what it's like. I know what it's like. Mm. And you've got more authenticity there. So that's a really good answer. Thank you for that. I just want to check that. Was, yeah, was, yeah. And you've given that some real thought, which is brilliant. So that's excellent. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, there's something else, and I've written it down. I know, I know. Um, oh, that was it. Yes, distribution and content, um, lo localization of that, and, and embedding it. A sign of going out to the, the major distribution areas, which you're absolutely right in identifying. Are there places locally? Chalk Farm, Camden, Barnet, wherever, where you know this that, that there may be underground clubs, or maybe there's a place where people gather that that, that maybe a I, I don't I don't know. Yeah. But what can I do locally to give this bit more of a um, a connection because it is a North London magazine. Mm. I think the rest of it absolutely right. Using all those um, names and looking at the industry as a whole, right the globally is absolutely bang on the money. But what do I do to bring in my local side to it? How can I? Do I do a, a local heroes a, a, a issue on someone who's, who's made good out of it? Or is there someone coming up who's really like, just think about ensuring you've got the balance on that right as well. I think you definitely need both. 
Um, but overall, I, yeah, it was it was good. I liked. I liked. Okay. As I say that front cover. When I looked at the front cover of Mocha, the first thing I saw was sort of prayers. I think that's really strong. Really well laid out. Mm-hmm. Really well thought out. The DPS. I love the idea of the big image. Um, and you you just I don't know. You just got an eye for design that works really well on that. So I just think on, on, on a few bits. I say, is there anything I've missed off? Uh, I don't think so. The only thing I was going to note with the design on the double page spread is just be careful of where you're placing titles. Because remember, yeah. when it's a magazine, it will fold in the middle. Yeah. So Drizzy is going to yes. get sucked into those yeah. page folds. Mm. Um, but yeah. otherwise, it's like it's very eye-catching. It's very like it's very clean. I really like that about it. And like Steve said, the colour scheme and everything is great. I just yeah. I'd just be conscious of that when you're designing it. Mm. I think you just used a really good word there. It is clean. It's really professional, really clean. It, it's it's the it's 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 almost aspirational. It has a feel about it. We see I've seen a few that 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 quite rightly in their context work more as a fanzine type, but this actually works as a as a as an aspirational magazine. And of course that's you know that fits perfectly with the with the genre because everyone's aspiring to get out. You know. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, yeah, it, that's a really good word, Clean. It's, it's, it's really nicely done, really nicely done. Is there anything you want to throw out, Zach, that you can think of? Or? Um, I think that overall, when, when working on this, I've kind of, considering we do quite a lot of lessons in media overall, because we're doing the, I'm clearly the double class, I think yeah. that I've kind of made a little bit of a connection to the, all of this kind of work. And I think that yeah. um, it really, to me, I think that my, my overall thoughts on what I want to do and what I want to achieve if this was the real thing. Because I'd want to inspire people to maybe attempt rap even if they thought they were never good and stuff like yeah. that and just have a, a wide audience of people that I could focus. And that, I think that's the main thing to me. It means something that possibly what I'm doing could inspire or if it was to ever be published or whatever, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. if I decided yeah. to go down the path. But yeah, I, I just really enjoy it. Good. Good. Well, it comes thing. across. As I say, you, you, you've definitely got an eye for design. That, that front cover is really strong. Appreciate really that. Strong. Good. Okay. Anything else? Or have I missed anything? Or are we done? We're good. We're good. Yeah. That was well, brilliant. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.